This is Caro's friend. Kit the Soulless. And I don't know if they're still friends. I don't know if it is fully accurate to still call them friends because I think he made like a video sort of distancing himself from the situation or, or something. But uh, he did stick his neck out for Caro a couple times. And more than that, there's uh, there's he, he used to post on the Beast forum. He has like cub porn fanfics that he writes. Uh, so it's bad. It's not good. I don't even know if it's Cub. It might just straight up be a 12-year-old. Uh, but it's not good. Uh, this is, this is, you know, uh, uh, one of those types of furries. Uh, so, you know, we're just gonna make sure that we've got our Sangi fully at attention here. Just, uh, get him out nice and, nice and present there. You know, you wanna, there you go. The full, the, the full, you know, visage is vis visible, uh, and, you know, he's got a lot of stuff here on his channel. He's got him playing through a bunch of games and whatnot. But the real good stuff is the gray muzzle rants uh, section of, of his channel, uh, where I guess he's a gray muzzle, which means like an old furry. Uh, because, you know, his his days of perusing the Beast Forum were back in like 2008, you young whippersnappers. But yeah, he's a he's an older furry. And uh, he's not even that that old. He's in his like thirties, but yeah, uh, he has some good he has some good videos here. Uh, <laughs> he has some good videos here. Uh, the The Return of Caro the Wolf is one where he, like, I guess it's a kind of a joke. He kind of sycophantically sucks his dick. Uh, it's pretty embarrassing. Back into oh, also, this is Nipples the Hedgehog, by the way. He has nipples. I should have really put that in the stream title. I should have called it Caro's friend Nipples the Hedgehog. But yeah, this is Nipples the Hedgehog. 2018, a fluff by the name of Kiro the Wolf was accused of a lot of horrible things. A lot of now, horrible Now, I could spend the entirety of this video going back over everything he was accused of, but others have done that to death already, so... How about we talk a bit about the other side of things today, shall we? We're going what to talk the about the effects side? that this event had on Kiro and those around him. Oh no! The real reason why this happened, and what it did to our once beautiful community. Our and once maybe beautiful I'll even try community. my hand at a sort of divination by giving you my predictions of what will happen now that this adorable fluff has returned adorable fluff everybody this is this is this is where we are so strap in perk up those ears and enjoy the strap in strap on and lock and load now i want to watch this video too chat but i think it's actually important that we watch the previous video first which is the cure for cancel culture i think it's probably best if we just watch like these four videos in order and then we can look at some other stuff but yeah i've i've seen the most of this video and uh this is kind of where he starts talking about some of the caro stuff so this should be good loving this epic youtuber intro hello all you adorable fluff butts out there all you adorable fluff butts out there. You know, you might as well open your video with hey, hi, hi cuties. You might as well just do that. Get the solace here. And today we're going to be talking about something that has been plaguing our community for a while now. You see, my dear fluffs, our community has developed a sort of sickness. Something akin Careful. to a cancer spreading. Oh, uh, don't say the don't say the big old c, c word. You don't want you don't want YouTube to to, 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 to demonetize you. Furry fandom, slowly killing it by stifling the things which once made our community great. I'd like to point out he is a, he's comparing whatever this he, this is he's talking about to uh, a cancer, and uh, meanwhile he's showing like a virus cell or whatever the hell this is. You know, I don't think this is exactly. I don't think that's exactly what you're talking about, but that's you know, right. It's fine. Today we're going Bigger to be problems. talking about cancel culture, right. its effects on both our community and us as people, and even a possible way to cure this cancerous thing that plagues our community. Yeah. So strap in, perk up those ears, and enjoy the ride. What is cancel culture? 
I love that this has the editing of like a to an instructional video from the 90s. Like this is going to teach you how to fucking put aluminum aluminum siding on your house. How do we build a tree stand? How, uh, this this tutorial video will tell you. Now, let's start off by explaining what this particular sickness is, shall we? Cancel culture is a, a modern form of ostracism in which someone is thrust out of social or professional circles, mm. whether it be online, on social media in particular, or in person. The now, I don't have to say, I, I don't, I think it goes without saying before we even get into this that, you know, fucking your dog to death doesn't really count as, like, people calling you out for that is not the same thing as you know, some <clears throat> very stupid cases of c cancel culture callouts uh, that have happened very, very recently. <clears throat> some very, very stupid examples. Idea of cancel you know, I don't really think telling somebody off for fucking their dog and roadkill and, you know, knowing it, being friendly and sharing fucking material with a guy who's now in jail for 25 years. Yeah, I wouldn't really call that like a uh, a cancel, you know, uh, that's, that's, it's not exactly a Caro the Wolf is over party. It's just kind of a go away. Cancel culture is actually a variant of the term call out culture and constitutes a sort of boycotting involving an individual, usually a celebrity, who is deemed to have acted or spoken in a questionable or controversial manner. Yeah, you know, Jimmy Kimmel said said the the big ol n word 20 years ago uh caro actively uh posted picture of his uh, pictures of his dog on a forum for people that like to have sex with dogs you know very similar things honestly i mean one of them is jimmy kimmel let's be real here for those at the receiving end of cancel culture the consequences can lead to a loss of reputation and even income both of which can actually be very hard to recover. Now, the expression cancel culture has mostly negative connotations and it's commonly used in debates on free speech versus censorship. Also, it's worth noting that a majority of people actually disagree with cancel culture. In but that doesn't stop it from happening. Fact, in a poll of registered American voters done by Morning Consult in 2020... Because, of course, Americans are the only people that, that factor into this. Yes. About 44% of respondents said that they actually disapprove of cancel culture, with only 32% saying that they approve of it, and about... Now, so far, this all seems to be like it's on the side of cancel culture bad, which, I mean, yeah, good, I agree for the most part, but... But what he starts to use as an example of cancel culture, when it he's, this is where it starts, how it affects the furry fandom. This is where we start to get into some, some uh, problematic territory. Go on, show me how to fucking set up my, my, my cordless drill 90s video. Now, you might be wondering how this particular phenomenon affects the furry fandom. Phenomenon. So, we all know about the Kiro controversy, as mm -hmm. well as the AIDS controversy surrounding Rico Tiger. The AIDS controversy. So, now, we're gonna need to start keeping track of the, the multiple AIDS controversies and such. Uh, so, again, keep in mind, we're talking about cancel culture here. We're talking about, like, oh... This guy once called his friend a, a gay in 2013, and now we need to remove him. We need to make sure he can no longer use his bank account. Like, like we're 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 calling we're 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 comparing that kind of shit to people being mad about. Now, if you're not familiar with hero controversy, as uh, well as the AIDS controversy surrounding Rico Tiger. If you're not familiar with the AIDS controversy surrounding Rico Tiger, let me see if I can uh, find the picture here. Uh, this is from this is from the Cepheus stream was when I used it. Uh, yeah, here it is. 
And uh, the AIDS controversy is basically talking about this dude, Rico Tiger, who apparently is like a fucking AIDS spreader. He's one of those like bug chaser people. And one of them is Cepheus. One of the highest ranking people on the totem pole is Cepheus, uh, who viewers of the channel may be familiar with. Also, thank you very much for the $100, uh, Mr. X-Ray 437. I, uh, I will be reading out all of the, the super chats at the end. But but yeah, that's that's what this is. That's what this is. Uh, HIV furs, Rico Tiger, and the fucking chain of people that he apparently infected. Uh, so again, we're not talking about somebody made a fucking joke 15 years ago. And people on Twitter are overreacting. We're talking about people are like criminals and nobody's doing anything about it. And people are trying to spread the word that there are like predators and fucking monsters out there. But but go on, you know, Caro the Wolf, of course. Controversy as well as the the AIDS, AIDS controversy. controversy surrounding Rico Tiger. Right, yeah. The weird kink controversy with Odin Wolf. The weird kink controversy, which uh, that doesn't sound that doesn't sound promising uh, for Odin Wolf. Uh, the Spidey suit issue with Nas Hyena. Spidey suit issue. I love the way he he lists these off. They're like they're like Star Trek episode titles, like the the Spidey suit issue, the the AIDS controversy, the other AIDS controversy with Dalmi Dalmatian, the fluff. The other AIDS controversy, chat. There are multiple AIDS controversies within the furry fandom with Nas Hyena. The other AIDS controversy with Dalmi Dalmatian. The Fluff Z. other AIDS controversy. I just, I need you to recognize the multiple AIDS controversies. Insert your Rich Evans clip here. The Fluff Z incident. The Peace Wolf. The Fluff Z incident, which from what I understand, he was, he was caught talking to like 10 year olds or something. Something weird. Debacle. The pedo issue with Skyware of Damn Dog Games. The pedo issue. Again, these are these are not on par with this guy voted Republican, so we need to fucking cancel him. These are legitimate crimes. What are you talking about? The subsequent Cory Coyote debacle it led to. The Don't Hug Cacti kerfuffle. The issue with Kiwi and his ratchet sticker. The subsequent issue with Majira refusing to break up with Kiwi, and the numerous zooier than thou issues brought up by Coyote Lovely. The numerous and zooier than thou issues, and this is just like an a handful of examples. And like, I could get it if it was like, oh, the furry community is divided amongst itself. It keeps, it keeps like. I don't know, causing problems about this or that. Some of the controversies he talked about there, like the ratchet sticker, is literally just like somebody made a sticker and people thought it was offensive. Like like actual stupid cancel culture shit. But then he's putting it on par with the multiple AIDS controversies and pedo controversies and zoo sadist fucking like scum of the earth people. No, no. And if I've missed one, I do apologize, but this is not an- If I've missed one of the hundreds of examples of furries being fucking disgusting degenerates, I do apologize. There's just so many, it's hard to keep track. Exhaustive list by any means. These are just the better known ones. There have been hundreds of little issues in the past couple years where someone has accused someone else of something typically with either little to no proof or where somebody uses something entirely out of context <coughs> <coughs> yeah i don't know this just reminds me of some some stuff that's happened recently <coughs> i just got a little bit in my throat <coughs> as damning evidence this is actually how cancel culture has affected our community now, the, the worst part about this video is that he is saying things that are true. Yes, fucking trying to ruin somebody's entire life and reputation with a couple of fucking, like, suspicious, you know, claims or out-of-context quotes or whatever. That's, 
that's pretty fucking strange and bad and we shouldn't support it but but again we are talking about shit where it's like a, a man fucking roadkill like you you can't put that on the same level we're talking about shit that verifiably happened you that that was like horribly disgusting and immoral you cannot put it on the same level as uh oh that guy that guy dressed like a fucking you know that guy dressed like a a genie like a stereotypical genie at a christmas at a halloween party 15 years ago like some stupid shit. That's, that's, you can't do that. Over the last few years, it's become more and more common for people to attack, defame, and destroy the reputation and lives of their fellow furs, all for the sake of earning a little glory or fame for themselves. Yeah, they're just trying to destroy the lives for the sake of fame. That's why people are mad at Caro the Wolf. That's right. Exactly. Now, again, sometimes that's true. That's the worst part of what he's saying here is he's trying to he's trying to get people to be OK with the shit that Caro has has done and the the multiple AIDS controversies and all this other fucking weird degenerate shit. He wants people to be OK with it because he's using the example of like people actually, you know, yeah, sometimes people do try to ruin someone's life just for the fucking attention of it, you know? Or to feel like they have some kind of power or something. And it's like, that's not really what it is with, you know, the zooier than thou issue. People are not mad at them because they made a stupid tweet ten years ago. They're mad at them because they advocate for fucking animals. And yes, there are people who claim to do this with only the best intentions in mind. But we all know what the path chat. What is this fucking drawing to? What what is this terrible drawing? The hell is paved with. Now I mean, if we're gonna talk about terrible drawings, we really should point out nipples the enchilada over here. Why does he have nipples? Why does he have nipples? Why does he have like these weird spikes? What what is this? Is it a hedgehog? Is it like a a wolf? What the fuck is this thing? I do not care for it. What are with these? What's with these pads on its hands? I will point out that there is a dark side to our community, but riling up a small <laughs> army of people to yeah, there is a dark side of our community. That's right, the Nazi furs. Definitely not the people that want to fucking rape animals. No, it's the Nazi furs. That's right. Good. Very good. Rass, defame, and even attack the offending party is insane and quite honestly, an insanely ineffective way to deal with these outliers. We have a judicial system for- Again, keep in mind that this guy was found posting on Beast Forum fucking 15 years ago or whatever. So, I mean, when we're ta when he's talking about these outliers or whatever, he's literally- this is just him trying to take the, the, the blame off of, like, himself, you know what I mean? Like, his people. This is the same thing where he's like, no, guys, the Caro logs might be fake. L let me show you. Uh, it's like, no, oh, uh, the, uh, the zoo people did nothing wrong. He's in, and while some people may complain that it's a broken system, you also need to understand that it's a system built on the premise that it's better for the occasional guilty party to go free than for 10 innocent people to be condemned. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, again, I I don't I don't get what your point is. Like, yeah, there are legal systems and shit, but when you have again proven fucking evidence that somebody's doing something bad and specifically they the thing that you've got like like with Caro, one of the big problems was that a lot of the evidence of what he was doing and what he was up to was like past the statute of limitations. And so it's literally like, yeah, this is this is real evidence of something that you did, but it's just no longer technic on a technicality. It's no longer legally admissible, that kind of shit where it's like, yeah, no, you, it's not always quite that simple. Uh, it really isn't always. Oh, well, you know, the court didn't find him guilty. So I guess he's I guess he didn't do anything then. That's fine. I'll let OJ Simpson fucking 
babysit my kids, it's fine. In reality, the only purpose to these callouts is to hurt others, and while some will tell you that it's for the greater good of the community... <laughs> and then here's whatever this creature is, I, I, uh, there he is, it's him. It's really not. You see, not only is it damaging to our fandom's public image, but it's damaging to all those involved. That's right, guys. It's damaging to our fandom's public image if you let people know just how fucked up and weird we are. If you tell people about all of the fucking multiple AIDS controversies and pedo controversies and all manner of other fucking sadistic shit that happens within our within our walls, well, then that's just going to make us look bad, guys. You don't want that. Come on. Since the typical outcome of these callouts is to spread hatred and divide us further and further. And by putting the worst of our community on display for the world to see, we're once again reinforcing the stigma that all furries are degenerate, sex obsessed monsters. This yeah, well, maybe if there weren't 19 AIDS scandals happening concurrently, we wouldn't think that, you fuck. Is Good lord! Kind of this is literally a person saying, listen, we can't keep telling everybody about all of the fucking degenerate shit that happens, because, I mean, what, they're gonna start to think we're all fucking crazy degenerates, like, that's that would be bad. Explain. How are we gonna get unexpecting young people into our midst then? It's why most parents freak out nowadays when they find out that their kids are interested in the furry fandom. Go figure, right? Well, here's the cure. Is the cure the super shotgun from Doom? Not a bully stream. Not that I'm suggesting anything. Now, you might be wondering what I could possibly propose as a cure for this cancerous blight on our community, and right Once again, so. here's like a coronavirus we're, while we're talking about cancer, yes. After all, over the years, it's metastasized spreading to even the deepest niche subgroups of our once beautiful fandom. So what is this magical cure? Simple. Stop taking part in it. Uh, yes. That's it. No hard drugs or chemo- Stop mentioning all of our fucked up degeneracy and hopefully it'll just go away, right? Yeah. Therapy. No months of Again, this is like a fucking Nazi telling you the inside plans on how to take down the, the, the Third Reich. It's like... Why would I listen to you? You're one of them. You used to post on the fucking Beast Forum and you have fan fiction of you, like, like a 12-year-old fucking dogs or whatever. Like, why would I listen to you about the problem with the furry fandom? You are the problem with the furry fandom. And I am not, I'm not one myself, but I'm pretty sure most of the people in chat would agree with me on that. Sicker than a dying dog, or aches and pains, and... Oh, what's that about sicker than a dying dog? What's that? I, I'm pretty sure some boners just went up around Caro's Lots house. Of being sicker than a dying dog, or mm. aches and pains, and while I'll admit Sexy. there may be some minor withdrawals, they'll pass quickly if you stick with it. I'll He's trying to fucking do the thing about uh, it's because it's a cancer. It's like uh, you, uh. jokes aside, though, if there is truly an issue that you see in the community. There are other ways to deal with it than to shout it out to the world of Really? You see, every single one of you has access to an arsenal oh of tools god. to be used against the oh people. Oh my god. That's right, guys. Sometimes you want to warn people who are, you know... You want to warn people about somebody who's, who's up to some weird shit. But, you know, not all the time... I think someone said in the last one of the, the last like Caro stream or whatever, or might it might have been the toggle stream, like breaking news, internet detective stuff doesn't put someone in jail or something. And it's like, yeah, you know, a lot of the time having fucking evidence of a guy saying that he wants to like do a fucking horrible crime is somehow not enough to put them in jail. So, I mean, I don't know. I'm pretty sure usually if there is something that can get them in jail, like like with Austin Jones, you know, it's not like they just tried to cancel him on social media. They took it to the authorities. It, usually if there's a, something you can do, people do it. But, like, you know, the very first thing is, oh, this guy... 
this guy runs like a bunch of fucking I don't know, this guy goes to cons all the time, like Sangi as an example. Sangi goes to all these cons and, and sets up all these uh sets up all these like art booths or whatever the fuck it is that he does, his 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 shitty merchandise. And uh, you know, he's a, he's in a position to be able to like, you know, do some weird shit given what we know about him. I don't know, it's like yeah, sometimes you just tell people. Sometimes it's best to just let people know that there's a an, an imposter among us in our community who are truly a threat. You just like, again, it's like if there's fucking child abuse happening, usually people will report that. But in addition to reporting that, they'll be like, "Hey, maybe don't commission art from this guy or like have a fursuit made by him or send your fucking kids to learn archery training or whatever the fuck to know where to look. So to help you get started, here are just a few of the tools that you can use to report things like child exploitation, human trafficking, kidnapping and other federal crimes. And if you're not and certain, I, if again, this is like, this is this is like this is so fucking twisted. We're at a point where we're like, listen, don't tell anybody about the horrible shit happening in the furry community. Just you know, if there's a kid, if there's like a, a kidnapping happening, you know, maybe tell the feds about it. Like, really? The crime you want to report is severe enough to go. Okay. To, let's say the Department of Homeland Security or oh, yeah. the FBI. Yeah, hey, Department of Homeland Security, I got Nipples the Enchilada over here, and he's making some fucking threatening moves. You can also contact your local authorities on the non-emergency hotlines for your state and city. Also, for those of you who don't know, our community actually has its own sort of authority group for conventions. They're called Flare, and uh -oh. usually you can report just about anything to them if there is an issue. Oh yeah, dude, just report your problems to another furry. Yeah, that's right. Because as we all know, there's never any fucked up, disgusting people in positions of power in the furry community. Yeah. Oh, what's that? There's a million AIDS scandals and pedo scandals happening left and right in the furry community? Oh, yeah, well, I better go tell another furry about it. What's that? Fucking every furry in a position of some kind of power seems to be DMing 12-year-olds? Well, I better go tell fucking the furry committee about it. Now, while reporting somebody quietly like this may not get you any real fame or recognition, it is a lot more effective because while canceling somebody on Yeah, it's a lot more effective unless it's like any number of the people who verifiably fucking did heinous shit in the Zeusatus situation who didn't wind up going to jail because of fucking legal loopholes and technicalities. Like the fact that it's technically not illegal to fuck a dog or like, you know, general animal abuse laws are are really fucking lax in most states and most countries. Like, they couldn't fucking arrest Woof in Cuba because they just didn't have... They were they weren't... They didn't have the concept of somebody as fucking dastardly as Woof existing. And they didn't think they'd need laws to persecute someone like him. So yeah, there's a lot of situations where it's not enough to just be like, Oh, we'll tell the cops, though. Like, yeah, maybe if they live in a state where the thing that they're, you're talking about is, like, a crime... But if they live in fucking Cambodia or some shit, what are you gonna do, really? What what do you what do you think is gonna happen? Probably fucking nothing. Social media does cause outrage, harassment, and the doxing of that particular individual. It doesn't actually do anything in the long run. It may drive them away for a short time, but it also gives them the option to lie low. Are you sure that it doesn't do anything in the long run? Because. You know, I mean, you know, fucking four years ago or whatever, Caro was doing crossovers with Majira, Strawberry, and Shane Dawson. And now Caro has to turn off likes and comments on his fucking videos. Uh, you, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, sometimes this does actually help. Uh, I don't know. Change their name and try again when the heat dies down. 
rather than have to deal with heavy fines and even incarceration for what they've done. And I don't know about you folks, but I would rather see somebody serve time in a prison cell if they've done something worthy of it. Ra Am I really expected to take this shit seriously with this fucking over-the-hedge character in prison garb? Are you fucking kidding me? You, you, you ridiculous fucking man. Um... Well, let me take a look now. Uh, I know I said I would watch these in order, but I'd like to look at "Fuck You, I'm Out." This is a this is a particularly good video. All right, since this is not going to be a typical video, fuck the intro. Hey, everybody, I'm Kit, and let's first address last week's video, shall we? Yes, it was timed roughly to coincide with Kira's return. Okay, yeah, I guess we probably should watch this because I forgot about how good this video is. Again, this is a video where he basically sucks off Kara for a while, and, uh, I mean, it's kind of framed as a joke, but, I mean, given all that we know about this guy, it's, it's not, it's not, it's not a very good joke. All you adorable fluff butts out there. All you adorable Get fluff butts. Here, and we're going to talk about some recent history today. You see, back in 2018, a fluff by the name of Kiro the Wolf was accused of a lot of horrible things. Mm -hmm. Now, and part. what it did to our once beautiful community. And maybe I'll even try my hand at a sort of divination uh, by yes. giving you my predictions His of what will happen of course. now that this adorable fluff has returned. This adorable so, fluff. strap in, perk up those ears, and enjoy the ride, because this one is going to get a little weird. Come on, nipples. Lay it on me. Now, back in late 2018, when the original Zoo Sadist files were leaked, our community collectively lost its fucking mind. Once united in many aspects, our community fell into a weird sort of societal civil war, similar to the divide created back during the Burned Furs issues. This time, though, one particular individual- Again, this is not a fucking societal civil war. This this isn't like a, a debate of fucking issues or morality or whatever. This is, hey, hey, should we associate with people that rape animals? Is that okay? Is that a wrong thing for us to do? I don't know, guys. What's your takes on it? Google was stuck squarely in the middle of it. The fact that there's enough people in the fucking furry community that are willing to, like, make this even a question is really quite alarming. The fact that there are people that are willing to be like, oh, this is just another one of those controversies. Like that time that somebody made a fucking sticker that people thought was offensive. This is, oh yeah, it's just another one of those. Ho-hum. With those who took part in this conflict fighting over whether he was guilty or innocent. This, sadly, brought out the worst in our community. Oh, yeah. With countless numbers flocking to harass those who believed there could be any verdict other than guilty. Guilty. Nothing mattered to them as they directed their ire towards those who disagreed with the narrative that they chose to cling to. Disagreed with the narrative, that's right. Um, because, again, remember, there, there, are, there are a number of instances of Caro just, like, fucking straight up lying. I mean, we're talking about Caro specifically. There are other people that did much, much worse things than Caro. He was not the worst part of the zoo sadist leak people uh, by a long shot. Obviously, Snake Thing's the one that's in jail, but, like, you know, Cepheus, Tim Wynn, a lot of them were worse than him. Uh, so, I mean, it's really not... It's really not about, like, oh, was he guilty or not? I mean, we knew he was, because he contradicted himself a whole bunch of fucking times about, like, oh, no, I got hacked. Well, no, I, some of it was hacked. Well, those parts were hacked. The parts that coincidentally all made me look bad. Those were just hacked. But all this other stuff was real. And I was a friend of Care uh, of Snake Things. Actually, I didn't really know Snake Thing. Actually, we I did know him, but I didn't know how bad he was. And all these fucking contradictions and all this shit. And it's like, no, nobody really cared that much if he was quote-unquote guilty. People were mad at a lot of shit. I don't know. Despite the debunking of their precious There's a lot more than just Caro in it, is what I'm saying. And as quickly as it could be disproven, 
more so-called evidence of more so crimes evidence. came out against Kira. So again, it's like, yeah, okay, you've proven you're not the guy in that picture, Kara. Very cool. That doesn't prove that you weren't in this fucking group for like six years or however long you were. Like, Hatred took its hold as a driving force in our community in that moment. We saw people young and old driven out of our community by the outraged mob slinging death threats and defamation at anyone who did not fall into ideological lockstep with the extremists it's not, who called for blood. It's not ideological! This isn't an ideology! Wanting to have sex with animals is not a fucking ideology! Go to jail! Though, when Kiro signaled his departure from the community over these accusations, rather than ending the turmoil, it sparked something far worse. Without a clear target for their hatred, the growing mob decided to make new targets. One by one, the heroes of our community were accused, oh my God. whether there was proof or not. I really hope all of these people went to jail, too. I don't know who these fucking furry monsters are, but, like, one by one. This, this fucking thing. You mean to tell me whoever this is is up to any good? Who, who the fuck? One, the heroes of our community This, were like, this, like, overly kitty-looking, like, oh, I'm, a, I'm a friendly dragon, I'm also into Edelvor, oh, Accused, whether there was proof or not, with people turning whatever they could find Jesus into Christ. a reason to justify Jesus their Christ. own Jesus Christ, line them all up. In the years since, oh my we God. have seen everyone from Cory Coyote and Nas Hyena to Majira and Kiwi Fox attacked, berated, and defamed for minor slights or perceived crimes against our beloved community. Where once we were a community of love and acceptance. You know, once we were a Justice League, but then, you know, the dark times came and we had to learn to reform as a team. You know, Zack Snyder's Justice League would have been a lot better if it had just been about furries, honestly. Furry has, in the years since... Actually, I'm saying Justice League, but frankly, he called it a civil war earlier. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? It's just Avenger it's, it's just Captain America Civil War, but it's just a fucking bunch of different stupid-looking furry creatures. And one of them is like, yeah, I don't know, fucking animals is wrong. And the other side is like, but I don't know, I think it isn't wrong. And that's the debate. Like, that, that would be great. Were that, made, that'd be amazing. Become a weapon of hatred and terror. And where once our future seemed so bright, now all that remains is darkness and uncertainty. Oh my good lord. Yeah, darkness and uncertainty. We're really not certain if we're ever going to have quite the fucking... The, the, the selection to pick from when it comes to victims. Is this the video where he talks about talking to 10-year-olds about how Caro's return affected him? I'm not sure. That might be a different video. It's easy to see the damage that was done to our community. People on both sides have given in to their hatred for one another. Heroes on both sides? What? There was a time when we were united against a common enemy. <laughs> Something that threatened us, our safety, and even our very way of life because of an interest that we all shared. Oh my god, you're really going in on this, aren't you? This fucking furry as a lifestyle. The common enemy. Those normal humans will never understand us. This isn't X-Men, motherfucker. We as a community were once hated and reviled for what and who we are by the world at large. We were openly and then, mocked and belittled. And then the world at large learned that we all like to fuck animals and little children, and, you know, it only made it worse. You know, who would have thought? The media, because of their intolerance and their inability to listen, or their desire for fame and ratings. Why did the greater world at large think that we were such a problem? I mused to myself in between reading about the 17th AIDS scandal this week and the 15th pedo controversy. And while we worked tirelessly for decades to undo the damage- No, actually, hang on. I have a good picture I need to share with you in this. This is very important. Let me just, uh, get this picked up here. Mm-hmm. Right there. Yeah, that's the good stuff. That's the good, good. Let me just, uh, there you go. There you go. 
You have no idea how hard it is to be a furry. Just, uh, you know, we'll just put this here o over him while he talks. Damage that they had done to our community in the eyes of the world. It's all being undone now by those who seek the same glory that the media once did. Mm -hmm. Those who seek to sensationalize and justify their- Who knows, maybe it's a bunch of people that used to be furries and then realize that half of their fucking friends are degenerate dog fuckers and they realize that maybe they- <sighs> Never mind, looking at this person's profile, they probably- Hatred have turned the focus of the world upon the worst aspects of our community. Old assumptions of what it meant to be furry have become the norm once more. In just a few short- Yes, because facts came to light that proved those assumptions correct. It's not like- it's not like a bunch of people suddenly fucking- I don't know, it's not like a movie came out that made everybody look bad in the furry community and it was totally fiction and not real. It's like actual fucking facts came out, a story broke, and people learned a lot of things that were less than savory, and then they were like, huh, maybe some of those people were right when they called furries a bunch of fucking disgusting monsters. Years. We have let hatred undo what most in our community spent the better half of a lifetime trying to accomplish. And now, that same hatred seeks to overshadow what good our community has always done. What good have you ever done?! Oh, a light shines, everybody. A light shines through the darkness. There is, however, a light that shines in this darkness, and it should not and will not be ignored. Oh, here we go. Kiro has returned to our community, determined- Now again, remember, this is partial- I think this is partially a joke, but just- I love this- I love this- Kiro's innocent! We are breaking free the chains of our oppressors! This- this image that's happening right now is- is just wonderful. To once again bring hope and joy where others offer nothing but hatred and oh. sorrow. Oh, hang on, hang on. He's come through investigations by two... Oh, uh, there you go, there you go. I need to, I, I just need to... Mm-hmm. Just get the full look at that. Like, that's beautiful. That's, that's art, frankly. That, that is art right there. Anybody need a desktop, like a wallpaper? You know where to find it. Um, oh, oops, oops. You know, we'll just let this one play out, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. Uh, Mr. <laughs> it's good, that's fine. Uh, Ashtar, there you go. All right. States in the last... He's come through investigations by two states in the last two years, both of which had involved a higher authority than their own, and neither of which could find any truth in the so-called evidence that they were presented. So-called evidence. With everything he was accused of and more levied against him, he has been seen as innocent by our country's judicial system. As we all knew he would, and much to the- Again, not proven guilty is not the same thing as innocent. Uh, people said it in the last stream in chat. I don't know, I don't remember if I pointed it out, but yeah. Just because they didn't find enough to convict you, that's like saying, Ah, oh, Fat Tony got off for killing the senator in front of that crowd. I guess that means he didn't kill him, uh, you know. Just because one of the people in the jury was fucking bought and they threatened his kids a little bit. You know, ah, I guess I guess that means he didn't kill anybody. Hey, what's that? It's on it's on camera? Oh, it's fine. They he was found not guilty. What's that? He has statements saying that he's gonna motherfucking murder that guy, and that and the gun was found on him? It's fine. He was found not guilty, guys. He didn't do it. He didn't do it chagrin of his original accusers. Now, like so many others who have been accused and attacked in his wake, he stands hardened against those who would wish the worst upon him, and like so many of us, 
he stands ready to bring back the pride and joy of our once beautiful community. He stands to unite the, bring balance to the force or destroy it. We stand united. The first. I did. Ready to lift up those who know what our community. Are you sure you stand united though? Are you really sure about that? No. Again, it's hard to even make jokes about this because I I think that he is like trying to. This is a, like obviously a little hyperbolic for the point of being, you know, haha funny. But it's like he does he he. Mo I'm pretty sure he believes this, so I don't know what's like funny about it. Meant to be, and who want to see furry become what it once was, a beacon of hope. What once what 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 once was it? A beacon of hope for what? A bunch of fucking freaks that like to rape animals? No. I think it would be for the best if the people that are furries who want their community to look good in the eyes of the general public might want to fucking throw out the people that are disgusting freaks. You know? I feel like that's also a view. For those who share... Good God. Vision for tomorrow. You know, can we point out that he just said something about a common love for anthropomorphics? Yeah, nowhere in the furry credo does it say you have to also enjoy fucking bestiality. But it sure seems to unite those people as well, doesn't it? We wouldn't want to feel, we wouldn't want them to feel excluded. With Kiro's return, there are things which are certain to happen. Someone in chat says that this is like a Linkara video. You're right, but less gay somehow. <laughs> as well as those we must fight to accomplish. With a certainty, I can say that there will be those who scream for blood once again. There will be new accusations, newfound hatred and outrage from those who Again, can this is framing this whole stupid thing as if it's like the fucking communist shit in the 50s where it's like, oh, he, he went to a beat poetry session. He must be a fucking commie. We gotta excommunicate him and make sure he never works in this country again. That's not the, it's not the same thing. This is not a difference in ideals. This is not determinism versus fucking free will or whatever. Like this is, this is, this is people that think that it's wrong to abuse animals and people that think that it's not wrong to abuse animals. I don't know why. I don't know. I, again, it's like you you could very easily reconstruct this video to be about literal Nazis if you wanted it to be like if you literally just wanted to be like, you know, he just stood for truth and justice and then they came for him and the war of ideas and persecuting others. It's like, no, this is this is bad, bad spray, spray to the face, bad. See nothing else. Lines will be drawn, new factions will emerge on both sides of the divide, and we will finally see the difference between those who wish the best for our community uh -huh. and those who and those who made this video. Okay, so that's that's this video, the return of Caro. Again, this is, I think, mostly played up for the sake of you know pissing people like us off, you know, normal people uh, who who don't abuse uh, small creatures, but this is the fuck you, I'm out video. And I like this video because he's a little more raw. Uh, you know, he's really raw, raw dog in it in this one. Uh, he, he comments on the nipples, the enchilada situation, uh, nipple gate, as we've all been following uh, in his videos. And uh, yeah, I think this is the one where he says that he's done trying to defend Caro at this point, which, uh, hmm. All right, since this is not going to be a typical video, it was timed roughly to coincide with Kira's return. Yes, it was designed to be hyperbolic as shit. It was designed to be amusing. I did make well, my sure video was. prior to seeing Kira's video. And while I had seen his script, I did think he was also going to put a hell of a lot more of an explanation in it. That said, wait, wait, you saw what he was going to say in his video, but you assumed that there was like more to be put in the script. Is that what you're saying? 
Is this him legitimately trying to back away from Caro after he saw the video and he was like, oh, fuck, I thought he was going to apologize for fucking animals. Instead, he's just doubling down and pretending he did nothing. Oh, shit. Is that what's happening here? Let's talk about what that video was supposed to be about, shall we? You see, we do have a problem in our community. We have a so this is why this video is great is because this is essentially the last video except real. This is like what he actually believes. The last video was a haha funny meme based on based on his real beliefs. Uh, this is what he actually believes. Um, problem with witch hunting. We have a problem with bullying. Got a problem, a problem with, with people witch hunting. You got a problem with bullying. You're right. We have a problem with people slinging accusations when they hear somebody has an opinion that they don't like. Now, if you guys haven't already figured out, by the way, there are not going to be any graphics up on the screen. There aren't going to be any adjustments yeah, to the music. the music. Hell, there's not even going to be any music, and there might not even be a intro card. I don't know yet. What there is going to be is a picture of my fursona's face, and yes, my fursona's nipples, because... <laughs> I get that some people think it's cringy or weird, and for those of you who have a problem with the male form, oh fucking well. I uh, personally like the artwork that my mate bought me as a gift, so it's- His mate bought it for him, everybody. We can't make fun of the hilarious fucking nipples on this fur creature. Yeah. We just have a problem with the male form, everybody. We need to stop being so immature and take this- Anthropomorph anthropomorphic Disney character with fucking nipples. We need to take this seriously, okay? Hang on. Have fun with that. Now, as for my Twitter conduct, I will point out that, yes, I linked the video that I made to Kiro. This was kind of supposed to be a, a sort of collab effort uh, to essentially get people hyped up for his return. However, my other reason for sticking around Twitter that Oh yeah, that's right. Get people hyped for his return with your 1.35 thousand subscribers have an ass. Day is because, well, I honestly don't like Twitter. I don't like Same. the people on it. And Same. if I can sit there and piss people off and troll around with them a little bit and generally make people flip their shit... I'm going to, because as I've mentioned in a lot of my streams, I'm an asshole. Oh yeah, you are an asshole. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, that's, that's, that's a point we can both agree on. Uh, so, you know, I'd like to point out, this is the same thing that Toggle does, where he's like, haha, I'm just trying to troll people with the fact that I, I have sex with animals. I'm just trolling them with it. Ah, oh, you mad? You mad, bro? XD? You mad that you can't stop me from abusing my puppies? Uh, it's like, yeah, no, I am. You're right. You are correct. I'm, I'm, I am upset. No, I'm, <laughs> you got that right. I, uh... Uh, and by the way, as Coyote Lovely also said, I'm a bit of an idiot too. Bear in mind, I've mentioned several times that I'm an old jaded ass gray muzzle. I've never claimed to be the most intelligent furry out there. In fact, I have my moments. Now I will point out, however, before I get into the rest of it, that Yes, one thing in that video did actually kind of make sense and became kind of valid <laughs> after the fact because really? my predictions were that everyone was going to flip their shit, that there would be new accusations to come out, and that there would be people slinging death threats left and right, there would be new uh, lines drawn, and we'd essentially start this weird little furry civil war. And that has already kind of happened, you see. For the last couple days, I have been receiving anywhere between oh, here, 10 and good. 40 death threats a day. Guys, he's getting death threats. That means you're wrong and you need to stop being, you need to stop disagreeing with him. This is the same shit they do with fucking like Star Wars or whatever. Whenever they release some game or movie that sucks and it's just like, Oh, one of our people's getting death threats. You fucking toxic gamers. Once again. And then the, the whole narrative shifts to, well, no, we don't support death threats. And it's like puts puts the people on the defensive. Uh, it's the same. It's the same shit. Like nobody cares. You're on the Internet. Everybody gets death threats. You know, fucking hot take. I don't care that you got death threats. Nobody cares. Everybody gets death threats. Play Halo 3 for fucking 10 minutes. You're going to get death threats and people threatening to do things with with your mother without her consent. And uh, that's just the way the internet works. People on the internet are stupid. Case in point, this guy. 
as have a lot of other people that I have talked to about this particular issue. So that being said, do not send this man death threats. As always, we here on the Deadwing Dork channel keep our hands and feet within the the the, the strange safari of nonsense wagon. We we keep our hands and feet within the vehicle. We don't we don't we don't go out and and touch the poopy. And we don't try to, like, identify people or take the law into our own hands. This is just a this is just a channel where we have fun, to be honest. Some of them as young as 10 years old. Can we go back? Want we'll to say that again? Between 10 and 40 death threats a day. As have a lot of other people that I have talked to about mm -hmm. this particular issue. Some of them as young as 10 years old. Why are you talking to 10-year-olds? Elderly furry man with nipples. Why are you talking to ten year olds? Where are you finding these ten year olds? Why are you talking to ten year olds about the fucking Caro situation? Why, uh. Why would you ever discuss a situation about zoo sadism with a ten-year-old, Kit the Solus? It's enough of the music, but why? Why would you ever discuss a situation like a man fucking roadkill with ten-year-olds, Kit the Solus? Uh, you know, incidentally, Kit the Solus, person who wrote fan fiction about a twelve-year-old fucking. Uh, what, what was it, Ark? Was it a, hit, the 12 year old fucking a dog or was he fucking the 12? I, you know, it's hard. It's, it's hard for me to keep track, but yeah, he did do that. And, uh, you know, I like to imagine after he finished, pe you know, he, pe he, f he fully put the final touches on one of his stories about a 12 year old, uh, having sex. And then he talked to the 10 year olds about the Caro situation. Yeah. Um, let's just hear that again. And then 40 death threats a day. As have a lot of other people that I have talked to about this particular issue, some of them as young as 10 years old. speak out about a controversy that they weren't exactly 100% certain of. This is the problem in our fandom. The way we handle horrifying people and horrifying events. This is the problem with our fandom. This weird 30-something furry man with nipples who previously posted on the Beast forum and likes 12-year-old tw uh, cub uh, stories... Uh, talks to 10 year olds about uh, situations involving uh, zoo sadism and people drilling holes in animals for the purposes of fucking them. Yeah, I would say that's uh, really puts a bow on it, honestly. You're right. That is the main problem with the furry fandom is shit like this happening. You really said it better than I ever could, Nipples. Right now is not. You, okay. you did it. Another part of the issue in this community is we tend to deify people that are. I don't know, popular? And when we do this, it kind of puts them on a pedestal. And then when we find out that they are not perfect and they are flawed human beings like the rest of us, we tend to blow it way the fuck out of proportion. Now, Yeah, just flawed human beings, you know. Some of us are clumsy. Some of us have smoking addictions. Some of us like to gamble. Some of us like to, you know, uh, meet up with our friends, capture a dog and drug it and then rent a hotel room and have our way with it. You know, it's flawed human beings such that we are. I will point out, I don't condone any of the things that Kiro has been accused of. And realistically, I don't condone a lot of the things that a lot of people are accused of. Uh -huh. In fact, I legitimately drank to the fucking day uh -huh. that Snake Thing or Nelazar mm -hmm. or whatever the fuck you want to call that freak. Mm. I drank to fucking celebrate the day I found out that fucker was in a concrete cell. I'm sure you did. Once again, this is what we saw in the Caro uh, video where he, you know, he he protests too much, I guess you could say, where it's like, 
you know, Snake Thing is the one guy in this situation who's, like, g- got the most publicity for going to jail. Like, he's the poster boy for... He, he's, he is among Zeus sadists, essentially, like, their fucking messiah who died for their sins. He's the one that went away, and so they're... They, they, this is like some fucking Dark Knight shit where they're all like, oh, we'll pile it on him because he can take it. Because that because he, he'll be a, a dark protector for us. And it's the same shit where Caro in his video was like, oh, I may have talked to Snake Thing, but I didn't know he was the monster that he turned out to be. It's like, yeah, uh, p- push the, the, the suspicion off of you. No, it's that that guy was the real problem. Yeah, that dude who happened to go to jail for 25 years. It just so happens that I... I uh I hate him. Yeah, they're fucking asshole. Ugh. Everybody, everything else is wrong though. I uh, mm, mm. that's the greatest part of that like Caro video too, and it's the same with this. Where like, like I don't know why why is this guy drinking to the fact that Caro that Snake Thing went to jail? If like, like I don't get it. It's like okay, maybe you want to defend Caro, right? But again, Caro's not the biggest fucking offender when it comes to this this the Zeus sadist situation maybe you want to defend caro but what about like what about like cepheus what about woof what about tim win what about all of these other people that were horrible horrible fucking monsters from from nightmares beyond what about all of those people sure some of them didn't go to fucking jail but they sure as shit did some weird stuff. I don't know. Are you really just like, I guess I'll take this down now because the point has been made, but like, well, actually, there you go. That's fine. Um, you know, I get it again. Like maybe you want to say that Caro, uh, his whole thing there was totally bogus, but why, why is it hard for him to like come out against people like, like Cepheus or whatever too. I don't know. It's just it seems dumb to me where it's like you're just specifically taking the one guy who actually went to jail and you're being like, "Oh yeah, fuck that guy." I'm not going to assign any blame to any of the number of other people that were involved in this situation. I'm not going to ever speak about them or anything they've done or, you know, Caro's interaction with any of them. And it's the same thing Caro did when he did his video, and it was like, oh, I, I talked to Snake Thing a bit, but I didn't know he was that bad. And it's like, yeah, what about all the times you were talking with, like, Sangi and other people in that fucking group? It wasn't just you and Snake Thing. You were also talking to a bunch of other f- fucked up people. Uh, you know, like, uh, never, never forget Woof. What I didn't do, however, is talk about how he should have been killed rather than imprisoned. That was more your guys' thing, not mine. You see, I don't like the idea of hurting people, regardless of what they've done. Well, you just like the idea of hurting small animals, allegedly, just according to your uh, beast forum. I'd post, rather yeah. see them rot in a cell rather than die, because quite honestly, them rotting in a fucking cell is more suffering than say a quick bullet. chat wants me to put sangies over the both of the nips but like you gotta see the nips he's that's his defining character trait you're just afraid of the male form okay shut up to the head now with all of that said there have been two kiro videos put out in the span of a weekend and neither of them really addressed anything so kiro i know you're watching this dude I honestly want what is best for you but you really have to fucking address some things <laughs> And yes, I know, there are some things that- Even this guy. It's like, why are you going to bat so hard for Caro? Like, uh, imagine being this guy, right? You've gone you've gone to the map for Caro at this point. You've been like, you had this whole thing in your last video about Caro's innocent. Uh, and then his videos come out and they're just like, they're just like, yeah, I didn't do anything. Bye. And it's like, what do you do? You were expecting some kind of an apology or something, at least. That's what I felt like. When I when I saw his, his I'm back video, Caro's video, like, I was assuming that he would at least apologize for something, but he didn't. And he just doubled down on fucking claims that, like, contradict his previous claims and all that kind of shit. And it's like, man, 
it must suck to be this guy in that situation. You're like, oh man, I've been saying that this guy's not guilty for years. This looks bad now. Right you can't legally talk about that it's a thing that tends to happen when you've been under investigation for two and a half fucking years but seriously address some of it find the things that you can legally talk about make a video and fucking talk about them because honestly man i've been sitting here defending your ass for the better half of two years now <clears throat> do understand i do want what is best for you dude i want to believe you I want Why? for things to eventually be okay for you, but first things first, something has to fucking give. There is enough evidence! Like, what do you- what more do you people fucking need? I don't understand this fucking mindset where it's like, Oh, but there's not enough evidence, though. Uh, no, he, he, you didn't prove it, though. Even though you've got this picture and that picture. No, they could be fakes, though. It's like this fucking flat earth conspiracy bullshit. Just this fucking like, no, every picture is faked and it's all not real and it's all fake. It's all not, it's all fake. All of the, the HTML text logs of him over the course of years that match up with fucking moments in his life where other stuff happened, you know, and other platforms. Like, no, that's all just orchestrated. It's totally bogus. Oh, and if you've gotten this far and you are actually listening, if you think this is me hopping over to the Kiru is guilty side, not really, because quite honestly, not really. I still don't believe that he is guilty of even half of the shit that he was accused of, because... Honestly, guys, if he was guilty of even half of that yeah, shit... I'm gonna be real. If he was guilty of even a tenth of that shit, I still don't want him around. Like, I'm, uh, honestly... Oh, he didn't do... He didn't actually do anything, but he was just in the group with people talking about molesting their fucking nephews and, you know, drugging dogs and drilling holes in them. He was just in that group, but he didn't actually do anything, guys. Yeah! No, I don't care. Uh, don't don't come back. Don't come back. You know, I don't care if he did nothing. I don't care if he never did anything, which he didn't. I mean, we know that he fucked his dog. Uh, so there's that. There is a lot of proof of that. But, you know, you even have friends of Caro's came out and said like, oh, yeah, well, you just. You know, he sent me pictures of his dog's dick and everything, but uh, he's a great guy, though. He's the salt of the earth. It's like, why are you so keen on defending this person unless you're one of them? He'd be worse than Norman fucking Bates. Or, I mean, I could have also just said OJ fucking Simpson, because that seems to be the default for you guys to equate him to anyways. And I still don't get what a rich football star murderer has in common with somebody who apparently fucked a dog. I just don't get it. I, you know, as I sit here and I say that this guy is definitely not guilty because the law, the the American justice system wasn't able to pin anything on him. Uh, yeah, I, I, I can't imagine why you people keep bringing up OJ. What, what's wrong with you? What, what, what you just, you just got scurvy or something? What's your problem? Seriously, learn how to actually interpret scale of severity. In a crime. Anyhow. Oh, so okay. I on. get it. He's saying that it's not as bad that uh, Car that Caro apparently raped a dog. It's not as bad as murder, so it's fine. I see. I see. I, I got you, bro. I got you. I'm done. I'm done talking about the Kiro controversy. I'm done talking about... Oh, don't worry. You've said enough. Uh, anything that happened. You should have probably been done two years ago. ...with his case or what have you. I'm this is not quitting while you're ahead. I'm talking to people who, quite frankly, probably should be in mental institutes instead of on the internet because you guys have come up with some interesting ways to tell me to kill myself from the generic as fuck telling me to hang myself. Mm, to here we go. One of you guys suggested I give myself a Tide Pod enema and then essentially finish it guys. by taking an entire tank of guys. and shoving it up my ass, cranking it up and inflating myself into the next Guys, I am very sad right now. I am the victim. You guys are being mean to me. You guys need to stop, okay? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, and for the individual who was so kind to try to send SWAT to my front door, 
uh, during my last stream. Thank you for that, by the way. I've got three things to tell you. Uh, one, my county no longer rolls out the big guns for anonymous threats. Uh, two, uh, they do, however, come to your door, ask to search the house, which that's one of the reasons why the stream ended. And three... So in other words, he got swatted. Very, very, very cool. We do not condone swatting, but... Uh... Oh, jeez. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's Kit the Solace. That's his gray muzzle rants. A world of suffering. Yeah, I know how, I know how you feel. What's this chatter fox? He is live now, but that's, that's fine. We'll, we'll leave him be. Convention must-haves. Convention time. Uh, thanks. What the fuck is this? Top five favorite Pokemon. Legality of Awu. Oh god. oh god, shut up. Shut up. Chatter Fox. Hey, buddy! Oh my god, god, chat. Why? Why? Here, and today on Chatter Fox, we're gonna talk about the legality- What is- what are the eyes? What are these? That looks like fucking paper! It looks like he cut paper and glued it to his face! What the fuck are the eyes? Of a woo. Uh. Uh. And yeah, no. A lot of people are gonna say I owe a lot of money for this one. Cause I'm gonna say woo a lot. That's a woo. No. Um. And I don't believe this one was actually suggested by anyone, so you know, this was suggested by nobody. Um. Anyways. <clears throat> Hang on, just um. Just need to, uh, let me just, uh, no, no, that's wrong, that's wrong. Hang on. We're gonna do, we're gonna do this right. In the furry community, there's been a running thing that woo is illegal. And I don't really understand why somebody would legalize a sound that doggos make. Or wolves make. Because, um, that would be somebody, that would be like somebody telling me that yipping is uh, illegal. Okay, so that's that video. Um, that's um, that's the legality of a woo. Very cool. I don't even know if that's the same guy, but it is on his channel. Uh, yeah, that's on his channel. Oh, that's Frost Fennec. Okay, of course, Fox Frost's fur suit adventures. Well, this isn't even the same guy, but you know, very very interesting convention videos. We may have to look at his channel again at some point and look at his convention videos. Mostly I wanted to share with you the gray muzzle rants, uh, which I mean, there's there's other ones here that are kind of funny. There's, oh God, there's a fucking three hour video about Caro from like two years ago. Oh, it's a stream. Okay. Uh, it's a fucking stream. Yeah, I'm good on that. New York dropped investigation. A glitch in the furry community. Circle of hate tolerance. Let's click on this one. Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. Uh, Hello, everyone. Back to the good nipples. The back to what we came here for. Get the souls here, and today we're going to talk about something that might piss a few people off, but nevertheless, I feel it needs to be addressed. First off, though, let's put up this graphic instead of the normal one shall we since it has a significant meaning to this particular First up, video let's put up this graph now real we're going to talk about the concept of tolerance within a community and why it's an unbelievably important there practice i know a lot of people don't fully understand what this concept is and i will do what i can to explain it as i go anyhow 
For some reason, some people think that tolerance means ignoring the faults or even crimes of others. Uh -huh. Even when those things are pretty obvious. The biggest argument oh. I've heard recently against practicing tolerance in our community... We've got our, we've got our imprisoned Zootopia character once again. ...is, we should not let people in our community commit crimes and do nothing about it. And those who know me know I wholeheartedly agree. This does not... I love the way he, he has like a mocking voice for... Oh, we shouldn't allow people to abuse animals in our community. Eh, be, be, be. He's got like a mocking voice for... <laughs> people shouldn't be allowed to commit crimes and get away with it. And personally, I agree. Wow, what a brave stance. I mean, however, that I condone things like witch hunting, doxing, or death threats. These things have plagued our community for a few years now, and it causes a lot of unnecessary damage to both our community as a whole and our public image. And he's got a good fucking folder for f furry persecution, or as many of you are aware, fursecution. You know, he's got a good folder of images of that. Just he's got the, the furries being hanged, he's got the Zootopia on death row, you know, he's, he's, he's really got a good archive... These, however, sure. are not what the current rant is about, so I'll have to go into further detail on them in a different rant. Now, by the dictionary definition, tolerance is, quote, the ability or willingness to tolerate something, in particular, the existence of opinions or behaviors that one does not agree with. A yes, I am able to be tolerant of the fact that some people think Mario Galaxy is good. I'm not able to be tolerant of the fact that some people like to fucking rape animals. I'm sorry. Uh, on this, I will b brook no foolishness. Tolerant society. And yes, fuck Mario Galaxy. I hear you fucking people getting ready to type. G Listen, 90% of that fucking game is like trying to orient Mario so he goes in one direction and doesn't like fucking spin around on the side of the gravity plane. I hate it. I fucking hate it. And then the rest of the game is shitty gimmick levels where you gotta, like, move the fucking Wii remote. It is sucks. one in which people with differing opinions can sit down and discuss their different Fucking fight me. ...without fear of reprisal. This, in and of itself, requires both parties to be willing to listen as well as be heard. Now, our community used to be one in which you could openly disagree with someone else's beliefs, be it religious or political or otherwise and it would yeah again it's not a belief like you can you can vaguely categorize wanting to have sex with animals as a belief oh i believe that we should be able to but you can't it's not like oh oh my friend johnny is a fucking christian and my friend Fucking Jalad is 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 Muslim. You know, it's not like it's a religious debate. It's not like it's a fucking debate about abortion or something. It's it's literally like, no, I think I, I think killing people is okay though. Oh, uh, what's wrong with it? it's like having a debate about slavery? You know what I mean? It's like yeah, technically it's a difference of opinion. But on another technicality level, on another technical level, you are saying that you should own people. On a, on a technical level, yes, we have a difference of opinion, but you're also saying that you should be able to have sex with your animals. I, I don't know. I'm not about to chalk that one up to a difference of opinion. Heard. Now, our community used to be one in which you could openly disagree with someone else's beliefs, be it religious, political, or otherwise. And it would spark a discussion. I got five dislikes for shitting on Galaxy. L listen, you know what? Don't dislike my video. Just play Sunshine instead and get taste, you fucking losers. Not lead you to being defamed labeled. The same people that will put up with Mario's terrible, terrible fucking controls. And also, Mario and Galaxy has like a shitty moveset and you can't do the dive or whatever, but people still shit on Sunshine because, oh, you can't do all of the moves that you have in Mario 64. Uh, you've got a slightly different moveset. In Galaxy, it's just like, well, you can spin and jump. I'm sorry, I hate that game. And on person by it's a good music. mom calling out for blood. That's about it. Nowadays, though, if you disagree with anyone or even have a thought that differs from the beliefs of the perpetually outraged mob, you are branded as an alt-right extremist or an alt-furry Nazi. I mean, yeah, this is fair, I guess. Sure, yeah, don't... Don't call people Nazis for being, like, slightly right-wing or, or even being not quite as left-wing as you. 
in some cases. Don't do that. But again, there's, there's a big difference between, like, political fucking opinions and, like, wanting to abuse animals. I don't know. And then subject the hatred of those who would sooner falsely accuse you of unspeakable crimes than even attempt to hear what you have to say. Uh-huh. This is, for lack of a better explanation, what the current outrage culture that has permeated our community is all about. Right. And it's inexcusable. It leads to people living in fear of speaking their mind or expressing themselves. Hatred is a powerful force. Yeah, it leads to people feeling like they can't come out and be openly uh, interested in sex with animals. Uh, yeah, so that's Kit. That's Kit the Soulless. He's uh, he's one of Caro's defenders, as you can see. Uh, he apparently he's done defending him, but uh, it's still he says some he says some pretty dumb shit. Uh, we're go- we're gonna move along.